children welcome back today we are going to learn poem number 8 meadow surprises now what are meadows meadows are a piece of land a piece of land covered with green grass it is usually used for grazing it has wild flowers here you can see a picture of a meadow now over here the poet is talking about what you can find in a meadow if you look closely if you try to be one with the nature forget everything else sit in a meadow observe everything what are the things the tiny things that you will observe which otherwise would have missed your attention so over here meadows have surprises you can find them if you look walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook so the poet is saying that the meadows have a lot of surprises but only if you look carefully if you are just lying there with your phone with you or with your friends not paying attention then you are not going to look uh, find it but if you look carefully if you try to be one with the nature you will be able to see pay attention look carefully what walk, walk through the velvet grass and listen by the brook brook is a small water body so it says that listen to the sound of the brook feel the velvet grass under your feet those are the surprises that you will feel when you when you are at one with the nature you may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar cup so if you look carefully you will be able to see a butterfly which is sitting on a buttercup trying to suck the nectar out of the flower but this you will see only when you are paying attention because usually when we go anywhere even if you are in a school park or playground you are busy playing with your friends running here and there you never have time to sit and see that what are the insects or the birds in the grass around you you have no time for all of that but you will see all this only when you are paying close attention you may scare a rabbit who is sitting very still though at first sight you may not see him when he hops you will so he says that you might also spot a rabbit sometimes and you, if you run here and there you are going to disturb that rabbit who had been sitting very still at first you won't see him but when he hops at that time you will notice the rabbit a dandelion whose fuzzy head was golden days ago has turned to airy parachutes that flutter when you blow so you might have seen dandelions they are first golden in color and after a few days they go white and when you blow the feathers flow so he says uh, the poet says that if you look closely you will see dandelions which were days ago they were golden in color and now they have gone gray explore the meadow houses the burrows in the ground a nest beneath beneath tall grasses the ants amazing mound so look at the houses that are there in the meadows the burrows what are burrows the house of a rabbit where usually rabbit stays you will see ants mounds nests which are beneath under the tall grasses so these are the houses in the uh, meadows where rabbits ants birds they live so when you look closely you will be able to see these houses oh meadows have surprises and many things to tell you may discover these yourselves if you look and listen well so at last the poet is saying that meadows have a lot of surprises but only if you are paying close attention if you look and you listen well it has many things to tell many things to teach but you will learn only when you are paying attention otherwise it is of no use many times children especially in these days we have forgotten to go out to just sit with the nature to feel the beauty of nature this is a small reminder a gentle reminder for you people to go out walk bare feet on the grass listen to the music of nature the birds look at the beauty around you try to feel these things otherwise you are going to lose this small happiness that you get from these things right i hope this will inspire you to get out of your house for a while and enjoy the nature now i will see you in our next class till then take care and bye bye